Hello YouTube, it's Citrine Princess again. I think this is a piece of citrine. This little yellow piece. I don't know. So, I'm back again. We're going through a lot of things historically. It is the second Mercury retrograde of the year. It's a Scorpio blood full moon and crypto has crashed. Lighting team, thank you for my lighting. <laughs> I'm the lighting team, y'all, I'm just playing. So it's really important right now because I feel like my, luck, my money luck is tanking, so I really gotta realign my energy, so. I know y'all are probably doing the same, so sit back and relax with me, the Citrine Princess, and I'm going to drop some more gems on you. So today's lesson, we're going to learn about how to prepare for the energy shift that's been happening in the collective. And I'm also excited to share with you guys. I do I do have like a intro song now, so I'm excited to share that with y'all now. And so lots of stuff has been going on in my world. And we're also going to talk about I'm gonna break down the seven chakras for you guys as well. I'm trying to find my voice notes. I put the song in my voice notes. I feel behind on the times, but I'm just now, okay, I found it. I'm just now learning, I'm just now learning iPhone, so you have to bear with me. So I'm really excited to get into the message for today. So you have to bear with me. I have not, I have not, like, I like to sing and stuff. I haven't rapped in a while, so I'm a little rusty. So I was just really excited. I was able to find a beat that I liked and I was able to rap again. So I'm really excited, exciting to share that with y'all. And then I wanted to also add a second part to that with like affirmations. So shout out to my girl Flo Millie. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that chick. I have done the mirror work so I can say that I'm that bitch. I attract abundance by thinking luxuriously. I look in the mirror and I told myself back in 2016, I am unique, so chic, and on fleek. I am connected to the divine and I have a destiny. And that's facts. Okay, that's enough of me hyping y'all up. So now we're going to get into it. So with the energetic shift that's going on, what I do recommend to prepare for that with the, with the Mercury retrograde and the moon, like the full, the Scorpio moon, 
I would definitely recommend meditating, watching your diet during this time. I've been studying like what foods, like what healthy foods the elites eat. And so they can get a lot of fancy blood testing, DNA testing, and so that they know like what their ancestors ate. But you have your spiritual guides. You have the Holy Spirit for those of you that are Christians. So I would recommend just meditating and praying and really asking your guides if eating healthy is a challenge for you. Just asking them like what your ancestors ate. So a lot of people in America, like especially if you have Native American blood, then I would definitely recommend staying away from alcohol and fried food. And even if you're not Native American, just in general, I've studied anti-inflammatory diets. So if you're dealing with a lot of inflammation, which is the root of most illnesses, I do recommend fish oil, leafy green vegetables, pineapples, and cherries. Uh, I went through a period where I had intense lower back pain and I drank a lot of pineapple juice to cut down the inflammation. Be careful with sugar though because that makes your insulin spike. And I've been drinking more water. I've been getting my eight glasses a day and just flushing out all the toxins in my body and I do believe that that has helped me. And also make sure you're meditating, praying, because this is gonna this is scary, chaotic times. There was a shooting in Buffalo, New York during the full moon weekend. And that was really scary. It was racially motivated. So just keep keep prayed up because it's just really hard to stay positive and peaceful. I do recommend listening to positive affirmations. That really saved my life. Because these are just scary, crazy times that we're going in, that we're going into. But if you're listening to your spirit, the Holy Spirit and your guides, you will be protected. So just stay calm. So today we're going to talk about the seven chakras. And then I have my little... I have my little whiteboard to explain. Oh, it looks backwards. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to. I think I just, for a visual aid, I'm just going to have the crystals themselves to talk about the seven chakras. That way, that'll be my little, that'll be my guide, my aid for you guys because I'm trying not to get my ring light to fall over. And so... I've got my, I need to turn my light off. I have my red LED light on because my shoulder has been feeling like really tight. That's where I carry a lot of my stress. Give me one second. I'm trying to find my chakra cards. Oh, here they are. There should be seven. So the seven chakras so the chakras represent the seven energy centers that are in the body so we started in it starts right in the beginning it starts with elementary school it starts with the book of genesis the first thing that they teach kids is that there is seven colors of the rainbow and in the Bible at the beginning there was light and so God created the light and we know that all seven colors of the rainbow when they're together, they create white light like this, like the of my ring light. So God made the seven colors, the seven colors, the seven lights. They also rec represent the seven energy systems in the body. So the chakras are like, they're all like seven spinning wheels but they all have to be running properly 
in order for you to your body to run efficiently so we're going to get into that as well and each of the chakras each have their own sound that you can chant to as well I need to look that up as well there's like a lot of there's like a lot of research that's going that I have to go into this uh, I actually went through something very traumatic I um, I had I was in a, my first car accident a couple years ago it was very traumatic very PTSD inducing and so I did a meditation on all seven chakras and I've had my first Reiki session Reiki healing session last month so this is not some noob just telling you about the chakras that doesn't know what they're talking about so the first chakra is the root chakra I have my chakra cards sorry it's backwards I don't know if I need to flip it or what but you can see like the Sanskrit symbol and the color for root chakra is red so I have my red jasper and recently I got a garnet ring that's also a root chakra crystal as well as hematite and tiger's eye so root chakra is the foundation of the physical energy in the body so it's at the it's at your base like at your like it's almost in like the groin area like the bait like if you're sitting down meditating it's at the very base of your body and so when it's out of balance you might have like a weight problem and it's just it keeps you feeling grounded it keeps you feeling safe so if you're having money problems you might have a, a root chakra problem so to heal the root chakra you met you can meditate with red crystals or tiger's eye or smoky quartz that's a good grounding stone as well and also you can wear something red there are some root chakra yoga workouts that you can do that are available for free on YouTube and you can also like just put lotion on your feet and massage your feet because how often do we do that in modern life and it's super re relaxing and it's a way to really ground you as well because if it's out of balance you might you might have weight problems money problems it can just it's just not a fun way to live and this is the first thing that I worked on in my spiritual journey is my root chakra. And the sound for root chakra is lum. So you can med meditate and go lum. And that helps some people as well, like feel more grounded. So the next chakra is the sacral chakra. So it's orange, and then I have an orange, I think this is carnelian. This is one of my new crystal towers. I got this as a gift. Sometimes I'll get different crystals when I, I buy one crystal, like I bought a strawberry quartz, but they gave me this beautiful orange carnelian tower. So that's how I ended up with all, like a lot of crystals. So the sacral chakra is orange. And so that one is like above the groin. It's like the lower belly. And the sound is like vum. And so with the sacral chakra, that's the creativity house of the body. So you know how you read a romance novel and when the main character, when they see their crush, they get like the butterflies in their lower belly. That's like the stirring of the sacral chakra energy. It's like a sexual energy. And so when your sacral chakra is out of, like out of balance, you might feel confused. Or you might have like a fear of sensuality or sex. Uh, if you've had religious trauma or sexual trauma, this might be out of balance because it's like the creativity sacral chakra that's like the house of create creative energy creative 
creativity, and sexual energy. So if you feel very sexually repressed, you, you might need some sacral chakra healing. Eat orange foods, orange, you know, eat an orange or something orange and to heal the sacral chakra, do some painting, get out in nature. So the next chakra is the sol solar plexus chakra. So that's the citrine or yellow. I think this is yellow jasper. See that? It's yellow like my shirt. This is like a little piece of yellow j jasper. And it's also what this channel is named after, citrine quartz. So solar plexus is the energy dis distribution center. So... When the solar plexus is in balance, you feel really confident. You can express yourself without fear. And when your solar plexus is out of balance, you'll feel like... This one's so bright, it's hard to again focus. Okay. So when your solar plexus is out of balance, you'll feel like you care too much what other people think. You'll be too much of a people pleaser. And so you won't be able to express yourself confidently without fear. Now the next the next chakra is one that's near and dear to my heart, the heart chakra. So when I first got into healing crystals, the first couple of crystals I was drawn to was like rose quartz and green adventuring. And so those are heart chakra crystals. I don't like the sound, like, the, I feel like the sounds aren't right for this chakra, like the chakra chart I found. Because the way they spell them seems weird. I'm trying to find it really quick. Because one of them is like ohm and it ends in ah uh, like. And I don't see that. Okay, so sacral chakra is like vum. The solar plexus is like rum. And the heart chakra is like yam. It's a really weird sound. But when you meditate, it sounds more peaceful. But the heart chakra, that's rose quartz, green malachite, and then this is a piece of green adventuring. That's a, this is a heart chakra crystal. And it's green. And the heart chakra sound is yum. Here we go. Excuse my nails. I need to get them done. So the heart chakra crystal... There is, it's like when it's balanced, your heart is open, you easily show vulnerability and emotions. And when it's out of balance, you might feel like controlled or you might feel very emotionally closed off. So the heart chakra is, it's kind of like a gateway because there are seven chakras. So the heart chakra is like the middle chakra. So it's the gateway in between the lower chakras, which are like warm toned, red, orange, yellow. And then the upper chakras are like blue and deep indigo and violet. So it's like the gateway in between the upper and the lower chakras. And so it's interesting that I started my journey like with the middle chakra, the heart chakra. Very important to have this, the heart chakra and balance though because when the heart chakra is out of balance then it will manifest in illnesses so the heart chakra sound is is yum and so when the heart chakra is out of balance it will manifest in illnesses like uh, like high blood pressure um, shoulder pain like that's my problem and It'll also manifest in breathing problems. Like, like, for example, the way I learned it was, like, if your heart chakra is blocked, that's
That's why in Star Wars, Darth Vader, he had like asthma, that sound because he had a heart chakra blockage. So there are a lot of people walking around this earth with like heart chakra block blockages. They tend to have illnesses, hold grudges. So it's very important if your heart chakra is blocked to get that addressed if you can. The next one is the throat chakra. So that sound is hum. And the throat chakra, that's blue crystals. So, like for example, Grammy night. A lot of celebrities, there was a couple celebrities that were Grammy winners that were wearing light blue, throat chakra blue. And you'll see that, here's my throat chakra crystal. This is Amazonite, and this is like an Amazonite tower, and so this crystal is like very watery, it's connected to like, apparently the sailors would use this to like ward off sirens toppling, sirens or mermaids toppling their ship. So the throat chakra, that's like the voice of the body. So. If it's out of balance, it can affect your, your health as well. So it's how we communicate. So it's good to hold a throat chakra crystal after you've had an unpleasant conversation with people because the throat chakra crystals are very blue and beautiful and soothing and calming. So it can help you feel back centered after you've had a, an uncomfortable conversation. And I like to hold the throat chakra crystals after I've had like after I've had like an unpleasant conversation or if I don't know like what to say or if I'm at work and I'm communicating I need to communicate with people I will sometimes have a throat chakra crystal in my workspace to help me know what to say to people I have a lot of blue crystals now too I have aqua aura and I have um, Amazonite, and I also have Celestite, which I'm not showing in this video. I, I might do another, another like video with my crystal collection if y'all want to see that. I'm trying to remember what the. What chakra is aqua aura? I think it's a crown chakra crystal. But it, oh, actually, it is throat chakra because it aqua aura helps with healing communication. So the next chakra is the the famous third eye. So it's in between your brows. This is where your mind's eye is. So this is the one in the spiritual community. People have said that interesting things happen when it opens. So it's in between your eyebrows. This this crystal is perfect for showing where your third eye is. And I like to put a crystal on my third eye. I feel like I almost get like a tingling sensation like from the energy of the crystal when I touch a crystal like a crystal to my third eye it feels cool almost so sometimes I will do that like when I'm meditating it's really interesting so the third eye that is the one that it keeps when it's out of balance your body will suffer and you'll be confused and you won't be able to see things clearly and you won't be able to understand spiritual things clearly either because it's like the eye of your soul like it's how you see the spiritual like spiritual things all right and then last but not least is the crown chakra so the crown chakra that is the gateway between our body and this and the spiritual world like the world beyond our bodies so it's the source of our spirituality so when the crown chakra is in balance, we know our place in the universe. We know our place in this world. 
And when the crown chakra is out of balance, our energy is blocked. You might feel clumsy, uncoordinated. Crown chakra blockages, you'll feel disconnected from the spiritual. This is my crown chakra crystal. The And this is amethyst. One of my favorite crystals. It's very beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. And so it even kind of matches my hair. So when I get my hair done, I feel like I'm rearranging my crown. And the crown chakra crystal, you'll see that one also in the media a lot. Every bride has a white veil. That's She's adorning her crown chakra. And you'll see Jesus. He has like in religious paintings, Jesus and the Virgin Mary are illuminated in white up here. That's that's their crown chakra aura. You'll see like religious figures and their face will be lit up like this in the top of their head. That's the crown chakra aura. It's perfect that I got this ring light because it shows crown chakra is like purple, pink, and white. And so you'll see the bride, she'll be illuminated yeah, like this. Like in the religious paintings, you'll see Jesus and he'll have like white behind his head and on the top of his head that or on his face that's his crown chakra being illuminated you'll see that a lot in religious art and a lot of times when there's been uh, crown chakra attacks or be careful what music you listen to there are crown chakra attacks in a lot of the popular music today and also there are, if your crown chakra is out of alignment, then you'll feel like very disoriented, very disconnected from your spiritual body. And the crown chakra, it can, if you're, if it's out of balance, you might have like psychic attacks. So it's very important. Like amethyst protects you against nightmares and psychic attacks. And I think it's good to have amethyst in your workspace as well because when i'm stressed at work i'll take a piece of amethyst and i'll put it to my third eye and then i'll feel so much better the rest of my work day and if you're having trouble sleeping this is a this is a good crystal to have like in your bedroom i wouldn't recommend quartz in your bedroom but this is a great crystal to have in your bedroom because it'll have you have peaceful peaceful dreams peaceful peaceful sleep but a lot of times people that have had slavery or ancestral trauma have a crown chakra issue. And so a lot of times slaves or prisoners, the first thing that they do when they're in captivity, they get their head cut off, their hair cut off, shaved off. And it's kind of like in the Bible, Samson, when he cut, when they cut his hair, Delilah cut his hair, he lost his strength. So... The hair is connected to the, the crown chakra. So when I get my hair done, I feel like I'm rearranging my crown. And it, it just changes everything for me. But this color, this blue, blue to pink, this is like a crown chakra color. So that's what I wanted to download to you guys. Hopefully that wasn't too much. And so also with the heart chakra, with chakra healing, it's good to be out in nature because what color are the plants? They're green. And so the plants can heal your heart and soul, like just being out in nature can make you feel healthier. This color green is very healing. It's because if you're having health issues, you might have a heart chakra problem. I thought, I, and I've also noticed, um, I've also heard other spiritual people say this, but like you'll start, once you study the chakras, you'll learn that there's some, there are some lower chakra people and some upper chakra people. There are some people that are only focused on like the sexual and like they're like very confident, but they're very sexual, very attuned to the solar plexus. Their solar plexus is almost overactive. And you'll find some people are very into the in, their intuitive side. But when it comes to like the real physical world, it's like out of balance. They're kind of uncoordinated in this physical realm. 
because you really need both balanced. So hopefully that helps someone. So like, comment, and subscribe. Wow, this was my longest video, but I, I do think it was helpful because the energy now is really crazy. And so we need to get confident and a full moon can make people more like unhinged. So just be safe and tap into that Scorpio energy so that we get this money made. <laughs> All right, so like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks, y'all.